Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are continuing to work on our exterior scene. In the previous video, we have worked on the modeling part. And now we are going to work more on the details and building the environment. So if you missed the previous videos, make sure to watch it from the card above or from the link in the video description. Also make sure to watch this video to the end to understand the full process of the modeling. And after that, download the project files and start working on it by yourself. You will find all the project files on my Patreon page, the link also in the video description. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, so this is what we have done in the previous video. This is the basic modeling of the building. And now we are continue to working on the modeling. Okay, so the first thing to do is to select all the parts. So select all and make them as a group. Go to group and you can rename it the group as you want and then hit OK. Now you have to adjust the pivot point and you can do that by selecting the group and go to hierarchy, affect pivot only and center to object. After that go to the move tool and right click on the Z axis to make the pivot point to the zero zero. Now we have to raise the our group or move it up to 0.2 which means 20 uh, centimeters because we are going to work on the side wall. Now just go to shapes, create shapes and select line Activate the snap tool and after that snap the lines to the card drawings that we have done before in the previous videos. Now just uh, adjust the line to match the card drawing and here I just give it fill it to this corner. Just select the vertex and go to fill it and uh, give it a value to match our drawing. After that just give it extrude modifier and adjust the amount to 0.2 meters and now add edit poly modifier and select the uh, polygons. We don't need the under polygon, just select it and delete it because we are not going to use it anyway. Select the upper polygon and give it inset. Just go to edit poly options and uh, inset it by 0.3 meters, which means 30 centimeter and hit OK. Now just go to detach and uh, give it a name and detach it from the rest of the object. Now we have uh, the sidewalk selected, just give it a chamfer modifier and adjust the value to make it more smooth, to make the corner more smooth. And adjust the tension to 0.5, give it some segments and that's it. Okay, now we have to uh, continue working on the rest of the uh, environment. So let's do the street and you can do it by just making a simple plane. Give it edit poly and uh, just select the edge and shift it uh, and that's it. Um, for the rest of the uh, sidewalk, just select the uh, first one that we've done, copy it and give it mirror. Just copy it a few times and that's it. Okay, so now let's make the, uh, the fence. And uh, we can do it easily by just making a symbol box and give it a, a value of uh, length 5 centimeters width of 10 centimeters and a height of 2 meters. After that, just activate the snap tool and from the top view, snap it to its right location. Now we have to make uh, this simple box uh, to copy, copy it as an instance a few times. And we are going to do that by uh, using the array tool. So go tools, array, and just adjust the values to get something uh, really well. So now we are just going to give uh, the x-axis the uh, 0.2, which means 20 centimeters, and uh, a count on the 1D, about 60 to 70, and that's it. Uh, repeat this uh, process a few times to complete all the uh, fence parts. So now just uh, working on the side fence, just rotate the box and give it a... Uh, about the corner, just uh, make this unit as a, a, a unique and just give it a edit poly and adjust it to match the, the corner of the fence. To save your time, I'm going to speed up the video so you can follow the process easily. Enjoy!
Okay, after you finished to making all the fence parts, select all the parts and just make as a group and you can name it fence. Okay, now we have to, after we are doing the fence, we have to work on more on the details. Okay, so now let's work on the details. And let's start with the balcony details. There are a lot of ways we can make the balcony details, such as we can make a box and add edit poly modifier to it and adjust the vertex as we need. Or we can make it by uh, selecting the lines and snap it to the balcony edge and after that converting the lines to a 3D object and make the edit flat as we need. Uh, I'm just going to work on the lines, so just go to create shape line after that activate the snap tool and make sure it's not in 2.5 uh, mode it's on 3d mode so you can snap it directly to, uh, from the perspective and just after that adjust this vertex of the line as you want and we are going to enable in rendering and enable in viewport uh, to make the line as a 3d object uh, after that give it a value about 1 meter in height and uh, 3 centimeter in width and add uh, edit spline modifier to it because we are going to fill it the vertex in the corner so select the vertex go to fill it give it uh, a value and that's it this is the all you have to, to do to only one unit after that you have to just copy it or instance the unit to fill all the balcony so to save time for you I'm just going to speed up this video so you can see the whole process and after that we are just comment on the important things Okay, now uh, after you have a lot of parts and it's become uh, a little bit uh, difficult to see it in clay mode, so you can change the viewport mode to the standard mode and start to giving the parts some uh, colors. And you can do that by just selecting the object you want, go to modifier and uh, just change the color from it. I'm go just going to give the mass as a gray and the glass as black and uh, you can just add a few more colors for example you can do the add a blue color for the balcony details and that's it just to make it uh, for easier for you to separate other parts
Okay, so this is what we have in the end and I'm going to end up this video here because I don't want it to be a very long video. In the next video, we are going to see how to import objects to our scene and how to convert them to proxy. And we are going to see two ways to do that. The first one is the manual way and the second one is by using a plugin called Project Manager. So if you find this video helpful, please give it like and share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel to see the upcoming videos. That's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye.